Welcome to the game. Saturday night, July 9th, live on pay-per-view, UFC 200, headlined by John Bones Jones versus Daniel Cormier for the UFC Light Heavyweight Championship. On the stacked undercard, former UFC Heavyweight Champion Cain Velasquez returns after a one-year layoff to face Travis Hoppe Brown. In this video, I will break down who has the better strikes, who's better at submissions, who's faster in the ring, and if this fight goes to the later rounds, who will have the stamina to keep going, press the fight, and pull out the win. Cain Velasquez has 13 wins, 11 of those wins have come by stoppage. He has an 85% stoppage ratio. Travis Brown, 18 wins, 14 of them by stoppage, 78% KO slash TKO ratio. The last three unique stoppage wins for Cain Velasquez have come against Junior Dos Santos, Antonio Silva, and Brock Lesnar. For Travis Brown, the last three unique stoppages for him have come against Matt Mitrione, Brendan Schaub, and Josh Barnett. Both guys have fought elite heavyweights. Both guys have stopped elite heavyweights striking even. Next, submission skills. Cain Velasquez has never had a submission win inside the octagon, even though he is a black belt in Brazilian Jiu Jitsu and a former NCAA A1 wrestler. When he takes his opponents down or is on the ground in control, he much rather go for the ground and pound and assault his opponent rather than submit them. Travis Brown has two submission wins in his mixed martial arts career. One in 2012 against Chad Griggs, which was an arm triangle choke, and the other back in March of 2009 against Tom Lozano, where he won via submission. Now their guy has shown that they're interested in submitting their opponents in their latest fights and would rather go for a stoppage win via punches. Submission skill goes to Travis Brown. Speed, both combatants in this fight, have proven to have very explosive speed when needed once they cut off the ring and have their opponents against the cage, they use their hand speed and feints to pummel their opponents. Cain Velasquez gets his opponents with a front leg kick or a spinning back owl that they never see. Travis Brown towers over his opponent. His six foot seven self sneaks in bombs from the top that his opponent never sees. Both men are very quick for their size, speed, even. Stamina. Cain Velasquez has gone five rounds twice with Junior Dos Santos and beat him. He has gone the distance with Czech Congo and beat him as well. Travis Brown, when he does make it out of the first round, he seems a little bit more gassed than his opponent. He went three rounds with Czech Congo, who's known not to have the best stamina and gas at the end of their fight and squeaked out a draw against him. He went five rounds with Fabricio Verdum and lost via unanimous decision to Verdum. In the later rounds, I feel Brown gasses, but Cain Velasquez is known to be one of the best cardio conditioned athletes in the UFC. Once again, this fight goes down on UFC 200 on Saturday, July 9th.